Okay, so this video is about how to get around, you know, part of your account being disapproved or unusable due to having what, you know, an ad policy violation for housing restrictions, which usually shows up in your account in the uh, keyword menu, but can also show up in your ads menu as well via your Google account, of course. So anyway, um, what I wanted to cover in this video was there's a lot of false triggering of what gets your ads get disapproved on Google lately due to them using more of an automated system to tell who's where the policy violations are occurring, even though they do some manual checks as well. And how you can kind of get around that false uh, triggering issue if you are a fall victim to it. And so, of course, I have a small list of th things here that you should know about this violation. If you have it or run into it, don't know what to do. The first thing is, though, on my list, I wanted to make sure, obviously, in case you weren't aware, Google did update their policy. You cannot restrict on gender and age when you're going to put up, you know, rental uh, ads and, uh, you know, in the, in the real estate space, uh, specifically within that category. Google has also done the same thing in employment and credit as well. Specifically, you cannot... Uh, uh, discriminate in your ad copy, in your landing page copy, and they also, if they detect that you're doing uh, targeting in those categories, they'll restrict your age and gender demographic uh, bid adjustments in an, uh, and restrictions in and itself. So you can't just, in other words, restrict your ads just to male or female or a certain age demographic. It's all or nothing, at least for now on. Um, so obviously you could have this issue if you actually discriminate. So you obviously just stay away from that or you obviously can't do that or go somewhere else if that's what your prerogative is to do that, to find the right applicants. Uh, so the ads are still profitable if you have to weed out the people that obviously can't apply, of course, because everybody has to now deal with the same thing, which makes the ad costs go down because everybody the ads are less profitable now because they, you know, they're making you buy more. Uh, apart from that, though, like I said, a lot of there's been a lot of issues with false triggering of people, the uh, Google system telling you that you have housing uh, discrimination violations or employment or credit as well, of course, when you don't have them. Now, where this one issue that I've seen that was uh, coming up often was specifically where your keywords themselves, so your ad and your landing page can be of issue, but also your keywords. If your keywords have the words specifically house or home in the keyword itself, they'll think you're in, the, the, because of how their system's programmed and designed, that they will actually restrict the age and gen gender demographic settings at that particular point in time. They won't let, they'll let you advertise, but you won't be able to quote unquote discriminate at that point in time. Whereas if you try to discriminate outright in the ad copy of the landing page, it'll just shut your ads down. It's a, t it's a different level of restriction. So you'll want to check your keywords if you, uh, you know, what I always recommend if you watch my other videos and I do on every single campaign that I run is I use my conversion data to see what age and gender demographics are converting above average and below average and set very specific bid adjustments to take advantage all the, the opportunities in any given market via all those specific um, segments. You're going to get a much better return out of your ad spend that way and also have the capability to be in position to scale your account once it is profitable that way as well, instead of just saying, oh, anything with this keyword, I'll take it. If the keyword isn't so profitable, then not. Because those, most of your keywords will work at a certain level of weeding out the certain other aspects of the traffic and audience um, type that are searching for those keywords. If you weed those out of your traffic stream, you'll get uh, certain other keywords to work, which is a great way to get, you know, five to 10 times more out of a market just by going and setting those fine tune adjustments on your bids on times of the day, day of the week, and so on and so forth. But you'll, if you have this, basically, uh, if you do want to use your age, age and gender uh, targeting, you just have to, the only thing you can do as far as I found is just remove house and home as well as anything to do with credit or employment, then from your keywords or you're just stuck, you're not gonna be able to use this age and gender tem uh, demographic targeting settings in terms of bid adjustments. 
The process again is automated. Their system goes and checks for these keywords. They're also going to scan your landing page and your ad for certain things. And then if the, as far as them shutting down your ads completely, they'll flag uh, in an account if you have certain language having to do with these three niches in your ads or landing page so that somebody can actually check to see if you're discriminating. So you're not going to get around it necessarily through images or anything like that. You're going to get caught. Um, but uh, so this is something that you know I found and all power to you if you find a way around the system but it, I'm going to say that it's probably almost impossible at this point. And so um, all you can do, like I said, the answer to having your age and gender demographic targeting settings back for you again, if you have keywords with having to do with housing or employment or credit, like I said, house and home being one example in the housing space, it's just to remove them. And if you got your ad shut down for this uh, particular issue and uh, employment restrictions, credit restrictions, you're going to have to rework your ad copy or your landing page to not be specific as to actually discriminate. And uh, if you have, you're not discriminating and you know your keywords aren't, aren't of issue, you go to the support via their chat, you tell them, hey, there's no issue here. Spend a ticket, two, three days, you should be back online again. If you did get shut down and you, you change your landing page itself, uh, and the landing page itself was the issue, you can get with support ask for resubmit, uh, reconsideration there and then you should be able to get online in two or three days. If you change the ad and that was the issue itself, you just delete the ad, put a new one up, things should get automatically approved from there uh, shortly after that you actually delete the offending ads. If it's not, again, you go to the support. If it was a particularly egregious you know, issue that where you were doing blatant discrimination in your ads, you may have to go to support as well. But for the most part, you just make the correction and you go to support. You're not going to get banned on Google permanently. They let, will let you back on as long as you go to them and you actually correct the mistake. Repeat offenses, trying to get around the system. That's another story. They, a lot of times, if, you, if they catch you multiple times, they will just shut down your account. So another warning um, or word to the wise for people that are potentially trying to get around their system and don't like the particular restrictions they have in place. Anyway, that's uh, everything I can tell you about the housing restrictions and credit and employment restrictions Google has now with their Google Ads system. Uh, if you have any other uh, questions about this, you can reach out to my site and ask any questions. I can provide you a free audit on your particular situation and aren't getting what you want done with the advice I give you here. I gave you here. Um, you can also check out my other videos and my money making PPC strategies blog where you want to learn how to actually make money setting up PPC. PPC ads for your business, how to actually go about doing it. It's the more detailed information there than you're going to find on any other blog on the net. And I hope you also subscribe to my channel.